What's going on guys, Vulcan here, and today we're going through how to get the Labyrinth Armor, which is a new full gear set that got added with the Swamps of Corsus DLC. So you do need this DLC in order to unlock this set. You can go out and grab it, but you cannot equip it until you purchase that DLC. So first things first, this armor is phenomenal. Not only does it look super badass, but it has such a good set bonus that comes with it. It increases your total weapon mod damage, not your total weapon damage, but your total weapon mod damage by up to 50% for a three piece. Plus it automatically vacuums up all the scrap and iron that is near you. So if you open up those chests, you don't have to sit there and spam E or whatever the controller equivalent is, but you can just hit that chest and keep moving so it's an awesome quality of life improvement and the weapon mod damage is pretty great so things like breath of the desert swarm storm caller they'll all get a nice little boost from this and you can really kind of build around this set which is just great now unlocking it is simple but it can take a little while depending on your luck if you're like me you don't have that great of luck and it's going to take you quite some time to get it so to get started you need to roll courses in adventure mode and look for something called the iskal Sen Sanctum. And this is where the Elf Queen is. You have to speak to her and she'll give you a Cryptolith Sigil. Now this Cryptolith Sigil will sit with you, right? You'll have it the entire time. It doesn't reset when you exit adventure mode or anything like that. And this is used to unlock the Cryptolith on any of the worlds. Now the Cryptolith is like this big giant stone tower with glowing discs on the front. And you're going to need to use the Cryptolith Sigil on this tower three times across three separate adventure modes, meaning you need to exit the adventure mode after you've used it once, re-roll adventure mode on Corsis, and hope to get the Cryptolith again. Now, as you guys might be hearing in my voice, I'm not a huge fan of this level of RNG in the system. I really wish you could just activate it once, you get thrown into Labyrinth, you have to survive like a horde onslaught, maybe like the Root or something, or trying to infect the Labyrinth, and that would be something a little bit more worthwhile instead of just smashing adventure mode over and over and over again and crossing your fingers hoping you get the Cryptolith. Now, luckily, it's pretty close to the beginning, so you don't necessarily have to go all the way through adventure mode and then realize, ah, I don't have it. So that is one piece of silver lining. So once you activate that thing three times, after your third time using the sigil, the entire tower is full, all the glowing discs are filled up, there's gonna be a stone pad that'll be lit up. When I was on Corsus, it was off to the left if you're facing the tower. You can interact with it and it takes you to a different part of the labyrinth. At this point, it's cake, you don't have to fight anything, you just have to follow the different paths to get the different pieces of gear. Now to get the helm, you have to, it's a little sneaky, you actually have to go to the edge and then drop down. So one of those paths you're gonna go to, the actual path isn't gonna appear before you. You just jump off the edge, you'll fall a little ways and then it'll catch you turn around immediately do a 180 the helm will be right there grab it and then you can follow the new path that it gives for you all the way back around back to the checkpoint and you can get out of there and that's it that's how you get the labyrinth set super easy and you don't have to go through a boss fight to get it so let me ask you guys this how are you guys liking the new dlc so far have you guys found a lot of new gear a lot of new secrets are you guys cracking them are they stumping you guys i always like to hear what each person's kind of interacting with let's talk about it in the comments section below but as always thank you guys so much for your support it means the world to me as always this has been vulcan and i'll talk to you guys next time